Yep, that's me, Annie. I don't like getting wet and I hate cold water. I don't even own a swimming costume. But to fundraise for the Cairn Project, an organisation that funds outdoor education and wilderness programmes for women, I'm going to be immersing myself in cold water every day this month. And luckily for me, I was starting this challenge in the middle of Scotland's coldest winter for 10 years. When I was 16, I got a funded place on an outdoor education week, similar to the projects that the CAM project supports. And um, it had this huge effect on me. Like, I was this really awkward 16 year old who's kind of scared of her own face. And um, that week gave me so much confidence. It helped me step into the person I wanted to be. And it had a huge influence um, on my life completely. So that's really why I wanted to fundraise, because I think it's so important that other young women get that same um, experience that I had. But uh, this was not meant to be my fundraiser. I was not going to be throwing myself in cold water. Uh, I was meant to be doing a big bike ride around the Scottish Highlands, but with our fast changing COVID rules, um, I had to accept that that plan wasn't going to work. So I might not be doing biking as my fundraiser anymore, but I'm still going to be riding um, to most of the different locks and rivers for my dips. I just need to work out how to strap my axe onto the rack. Because um, I live in the Cairngorms National Park, which is such an amazing place for swimming. There are so many different locks and rivers and just really beautiful places to get in the water. And uh, it's really cool that I can get to them from the house. So I'm going to make the most of that. Okay, so I've just arrived here by my lock that I want to um, <laughs> go for my dip in. Um, but it's super frozen. We've had a few nights of like minus 10 recently. Uh, so I think my first challenge is going to be getting into it. I've got my tiny um, wood carving axe, so let's see if this is up to the job. Water. I have to get in there. I don't really want it to be honest. Uh, it's really dark. So I can't actually see how deep it is and uh, I'm a wee bit freaked out to be honest. I kind of have visions of just disappearing away under the ice. Right, this is what I've signed up for. I'm gonna have to do it. <laughs> oh, it's starting to warm up a little bit now, hey, but it's just started snowing, which isn't very helpful. I have to do that every day now for the rest of the month. Uh, I don't know, nervous maybe about that, not excited, but I'm hopeful that I'm going to learn to love it. <laughs> the first week had blizzard conditions with the snow giving me a full body exfoliation every dip. 
Well, it's windy and it's snowing, and can't you just think of a better thing to do today than get in that bit of water? I mean, how delightful does that look right now? And then finally the wind dropped and the sun came out. Oh, it's been raining on the wrong side of the glen. I still haven't got the sun on me. But um, I'm pretty hopeful that my luck will be in the sun by the time I get there. Because if it's not, it's going to be really cold. Dancing on ice, watch out. In the second week of my challenge, a lot of my friends started to join and I decided to ask some of them for good advice. And, um, why do you like cold water? I don't think I do, uh, but maybe... Uh, hmm, I don't. <laughs> it's probably like good for you to make you a, a more solid person. I really like that when I'm in the cold water, I can't think about anything else. Like, it doesn't matter what your day has been like, when I'm in the water, all you can think about is the cold and like the feeling of the water on your skin. And it's always different, even if you go back to the same patch of cold water, you have a different experience every time. And um, I like that afterwards, you just get such a buzz as well. Even if for the moment you're in the water, it's horrible and cold and it feels awful, you get out and you just feel great and you just, yeah, get a good buzz. <laughs> Ah, so um, one of the downsides is that my bra is frozen solid. However, it will now match the rigidity of my nipples, so that's a bonus. Uh, so the weather's all changed the last day. We've got these stormforce southerlies that have come in and uh, they're breaking up the ice. They're getting under it and it's all pressure cracking and it's quite cool, but it's freezing. Oh, excited for today's dip but for every bad day I had there was always a friend willing to join for the next to help me get the stoke levels back up <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> oh my god <laughs> The southerly air mass brought warmer weather with it and our winter wonderland melted into the rivers
So with the ice in the glens melting fast, it was time to start hiking and head into the hills to try and hunt down some higher lochens. <laughs> so I was first here about a week ago with a friend um, but I kind of wanted to come back on my own because I think you get a very different experience and with friends it's all like adrenaline and energy and you get in and maybe you get out really quickly and I'm quite introverted and I quite like to just sit and be silent and listen to the water and watch the ice and watch the mist on the mountains and you get a much more connected feel and you feel like maybe you're part of the land for a little while rather than just completely passing through it and I think that's quite special to me. Um, I found the sensation of the cold water a really interesting part of this process because um, it's so different each time and it doesn't always depend on the water temperature or the air temperature as to how it's going to feel. And so some days it's been like a refreshing ice pack and some days it's kind of been mildly stingy, kind of like you've gently brushed up against some nettles. And then other days it's like a swarm of a thousand wasps are attacking you and stinging you all over. And it's just so interesting that you've got no idea what it's going to feel like. <laughs> When I started this, I was a bit of a negative Nelly about it and uh, I found the first week really hard because I was kind of really didn't want to get in the water and had to really psych myself up each time and it just felt a bit miserable. And I guess I've come to maybe not love it, but really enjoy it. And this whole process has felt a bit like going on a journey you know, in times of COVID, that's something which we're not even, yeah, we can't go out and camp or anything now. And this has kind of given me that feeling of the unknown and of learning and adapting. And that's been something I'm incredibly grateful for. It's definitely made February a lot easier than it would have been if I hadn't been doing this. My last dip today! Woo! Uh, the aim is to get to a beautiful place, to go for a swim and to try out some uh, different terrain on the way there. So this is the first time I've ever put crampons on to go for a swim.
would you have for a friend who's maybe wanting to try it out? I think if you go with someone else, that definitely helps. Like, there's loads of groups out there for people that want to try swimming. Be prepared and make it as easy as possible. So pick somewhere that's right next to your car, that's gonna be really warm. Take hot chocolate, take loads of layers, like make it as enjoyable as possible for your first time. And then you're much more likely to keep going it again. And don't beat yourself up if you stay in for 30 seconds. It doesn't matter. If, like 10 seconds is enough, you still get the benefits. Oh, just go for it because I'm probably woefully unprepared. So <laughs> I'm wearing, look, yellow wings. <laughs> so if you could go do it wearing that, then, then yeah, nothing will stop you.